I usually arrive at 8 o'clock in the morning. On most days, I wear a smart casual attire, but today I am wearing surgical scrubs to match today's topic. Of course, I have to make sure that I look good and smell good in front of the students. After changing, I go straight away to prepping the skills room. We prepare majority of the equipment and materials needed the day before. And on the day of the class, I like to do a final check to avoid any delay during the session. I turn on my PC and project my intro slide so that when my students arrive, they get a hint and even get excited about the skills that they are going to learn on that day. When the students arrive, this is what they are going to see. Everything is neat and tidy and ready for class. So good morning everyone. Welcome to your technical skills day. Um, please indulge me with this Grace Anatomy intro photo. Is anyone a fan? Okay. <laughs> okay, so this is just to make you feel uh, the actual thing that today you'll be learning a lot of skills. Uh, the first one would be your scrubbing, gumming, and gloving. Then we go to catheterization. At, uh, after lunch, Tina will come in to do the suturing. And after the suturing, I don't know if you've read your email, there is a mock OSCE at the end. It will take about two hours because you'll be doing two circuits. So it's a mock, meaning Half of you will be the assessors and half will be the candidates. And because of your number today, if you reach 12, we will be doing six instead of five stations. So there's another surprise station. But you've already been signed off, so nothing to worry about. It's just another practice for you. Classes start at 9 in the morning. Today, we are teaching surgical scrubbing, gloving and gowning, male urinary catheterization, and suturing. We tend to divide the topics, especially on a full day like this, but there are also times when I teach by myself for the whole day. Over the academic year, we provide training and assessment on topics like basic life support, venipuncture, cannulation, and nasogastric tube insertion, just to name a few. We teach students from their first year up to their final year. And this is our lovely skill center manager, Tina. Good morning, Tina. Good morning. Okay. Are we saying what time we're finishing? Yeah, they're asking you. <laughs> We'll finish at five. Five, okay. We'll finish at five. Right. The challenge is on. Perfect. So we'll make this time first. So, hi Richard. My name is Jacob. I'm one of the fourth year um, medical students. And I'm here to perform a categorization. Before that, can I just confirm your full name and your date of birth, please? Mm hmm Have you got any allergies? Nothing. Perfect. So, on long days like this, I like to inject a bit of fun and make sure all students get the chance to participate. For today's Clinical Skills Day, we took a few photos to immortalize this moment when everyone had successfully donned their sterile gown and gloves, looking like the cast of Grey's Anatomy. At the end of the day, we put everything together and the students have a mock practical exam. On days when we are not teaching, we do the practical assessments to sign students off so that they can then proceed to perform the skill on real patients. Once the class is finished, my work continues as I clear up the room, sign off the students' electronic forms, and prepare for the next day session. Depending on the topic for the day, I usually go home between 5 to 6 p.m. On practical assessment and examination days, it may be later than that. And that is a glimpse of my work as a clinical skills tutor at UCL Medical School.
If you have any questions about this job, please write them down in the comment section. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to drop a like and subscribe. See you next time.